OK, in studio now, GB News political correspondent Mr Tom Harwood with this one uh, and previewing what Labour have to say today and indeed uh, will it have any influence on the two Conservative leadership candidates? Yeah, it's finally the Labour Party making some news after being really rather quiet for the last few weeks. In fact, last week, it wasn't the senior Labour figures currently in that party making the news, but Gordon Brown who came out of yeah. the woodwork and started making... So, finally, the Labour Party is stepping up. And it's because Keir Starmer was on his holidays, though, He was it? indeed. He was yes. indeed, as was Boris Johnson for a little bit as well. But, um, yes, the Labour Party saying a 25% tax on those profits of energy companies would help fund. It would raise about £8 billion. But... The Institute for Fiscal Studies say this proposal of freezing the price cap at the place that it is now would cost £60 billion for a year. £60 billion. So there might be a little bit more money that needs to be found there. Will it shift the terms of debate, though? Potentially. I don't think for a second that the Conservative leadership contenders will take up this proposal wholesale, but it certainly does focus the conversation on what more they may be willing to do themselves. Will they find alternate proposals to do similar things in a different way? It's interesting, though, both Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss have been very reluctant to say that they would want a windfall tax. This leadership contest has been so much about tax and spend, the size of the state, the weight of the tax burden in this country. And to increase taxes, I think, would be politically difficult mm. for a Conservative leadership contender, given the selectorate they're facing. There's a YouGov poll that's been taken out with The Times. It's their lead story today. And they say three in four Tory voters, obviously, that they spoke to, back this energy plan from the Labour Party. Mm. Might this shift the dial a little bit at Conservative HQ? I think that it probably won't in the short term because Conservative voters are a distinct group from Conservative members. Conservative voters behave more like the country does and actually tend to be a lot more centrist on economic issues, whereas Conservative members tend to be more on the free market bent of things, more sceptical of high tax and spend. So given who the uh, contenders are facing right now, that it's members rather than voters, uh, that might not be the biggest consideration and one other thing when it comes to opinion polls, one of the uh, issues of the last two years, one of the big criticisms of the Boris Johnson administration was that many people said it was led too much by opinion polls, following public opinion rather than leading it. Yeah. To some extent, we may well be seeing uh, Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss wanting to try and lead opinion, to try and change the conversation rather than try and follow opinion polls. Oh.